guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to play around in one of my shop my stash palettes um you guys know if you watch my shop my stash that I picked about 50 palettes to use <laughs> so honestly I should be using about three palettes at a time but I'm gonna try and get through these palettes you guys whether I do it on YouTube or Instagram or just playing around on my own so the palette that I am playing with today is this Rue Cosmetics Roaring 20s. This one is the Reckless palette. They do have another one in the Roaring 20s kind of series. And I think it has like more burgundies and mauve tones. I have that one as well, but I pulled this one for my shop mustache because the color story, oh my gosh, the color story was just so, so gorgeous, so pretty. Um, and so I used it to create this <laughs> super colorful look today. So yeah, this is what I'm doing today. I have some other items for my complexion, from my shop, my stash. I think I might have snuck a few things in that aren't from my shop, my stash. No, honestly, I think everything is from my shop, shop my stash, you guys. So yeah, I did pretty good today, <laughs> but yeah, so this is the palette that I used. If you'd like to see how I created this look, definitely stay tuned. I am doing it in a voiceover style. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what I did and talk about it while I'm doing it. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, you guys, so this is the palette, like I was saying, the Roaring Twenties Reckless Palette from Rude Cosmetics. This is what the back looks like. It has the ingredients, the different shade colors in here. It does say that it is a pressed pigment and shadow palette. There's a mirror inside, and these are the gorgeous colors. Very, very pretty. There's no pressed glitters in here, which I do appreciate <laughs> these days because typically there's pressed glitter everywhere, but this one is just your regular shadows and shimmers. So very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly throw on some brows with my pure pencil and prep my base with my P. Louise eyeshadow base. And then we'll go ahead and jump right in. So the first shade I'm using here is this kind of like orangey shade called Buzz. And as you can see, I was very surprised when I started to apply it on my eyes because it actually looks yellow. <laughs> I was like, did I go into the wrong shade here? But yeah, on me, this color is actually coming off yellow, which is very strange, but I managed to still work it out even though it wasn't that bright orange that I wanted. So next I'm going into Big Shot, which is kind of like an orangey red shade. So on the palette, it looks more red, but on the eyes, it definitely comes off as kind of like a orangey red type color. Still very pretty for this sunset look, but I'm finding that some of the shades in the palette look slightly different when I apply it to my eyes. So I'm just gently building this up as you can see making sure that my crease is nice and dark with that shade and blending it into that first shade. So this is just the start of my sunset vibe. Next, I'm going into Lindy Hop. This here is kind of like, you know, that fuchsia, pinky fuchsia, magenta type shade. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and tapping that in the outer corner so I can get a feel for the pigmentation on this shadow. This shadow is nicely pigmented. You are able to build it up nice and easy. It doesn't give you like that instant punch of color. But as you can see, it's very, very pretty. I was able to blend it in very easily with those first two shades, just to kind of create that nice gradient as you see here. Now I'm just going back in with that first shade and just making sure that it's nice and vibrant right there on my brow bone area. I really wanted to make sure you could see those colors nicely. So for my lid, I wanted to go in with some bold shades. So I started out with the shade called On The Ritz. Absolutely gorgeous, shimmery green shade. It kind of looks a bit glittery, but it's not glitter. It's a shimmer and very, very smooth. Next, I'm going into a blue shimmer called Razzle. 
it's kind of like a light turquoise type shade and as you can see I am spraying my brush just to kind of alleviate too much fallout um, and not having shimmer all over my face but I'm just gently blending that into that first green shadow and they blend it together very very nicely now I'm going into this dark purple shimmer called Atta Girl. It's kind of like a blurple, <laughs> but it does blend into that blue very nicely, very easily. All of these shimmers are super pigmented, really, really nice. Now I'm just going back in with Lindy Hop, tapping that in that outer corner to make sure you can see that magenta shade really nicely. So since my lid is so bold, I decided to just go in with a black liquid eyeliner. Now for my face, I'm using the Tarte Baba Bomb. You guys know I pulled this from my, or for my shop, my stash. And I really like this moisturizer, you guys. It's nice and creamy. It's thick, but it's not too thick. It does absorb into the skin very easily. To prime, I'm using my Touch and Soul. This is that kind of weird one. It's called Icy Sherbert Primer. <laughs> now it does fill in my pores very nicely, but it takes a little getting used to because it just has a interesting feel to it. But so far I like it. Now to handle these dark circles, I'm going in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer basically using this to just you know handle those dark circles as well as the dark areas around my mouth and for foundation I'm using my new Kat Von D foundation that I picked up during the Sephora sale and I think that this is a good color match for me you guys I'll list all the products in the description box below so you can see what shade I use for you know these different complexion products but yeah, I think this is a good color match for me and my skin tone. Now to brighten a bit, I'm using my Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. I actually really like these concealers. I'm finding that the older I get, I like a bit of a lighter feel on my face for my complexion products. Not so heavy, you know, even though I feel like these Pretty Fresh products have really nice coverage, to be honest with you. So I'm just using a damp beauty sponge to blend that in and just kind of brighten those areas a bit. Now to set these areas in place, I'm going in with my DJ's Unique Boutique. This is her loose powder. I'm using the shade Honey today. And as you can see, she has some beautiful new packaging for her powder. And I'm just going in with my damp sponge and just kind of setting those brightened areas that I, you know, wherever I place that concealer, as you can see. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm using this Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. I picked this up recently and wanted to use this for my shop mustache. I don't know how I feel about this powder yet, you guys. I really don't. I, <laughs> I don't feel one way or another. And I think it's, I don't know. I'll let you guys know <laughs> when I switch my products out. Because right now, I don't know. So I'm using my Gucci bronzer today, you guys. Very, very nice. I'm just kind of really warming up the perimeter of my face and, you know, just kind of carving out my nose a little bit. But I felt like with this bright tropical eye look, I really wanted to, you know, just look like I've been hanging out on the beach for a while. So that's what I'm doing, bronzing it up. <laughs> this bronzer is very smooth. So for blush, I'm using one of my new Beauty Bay blushes. This is a shade Royal. It didn't really appear to have any type of shimmer in it in the pan, but when I apply it to my face, I can definitely see a slight glow. So I think it's really pretty. You know, you guys know I've come to really kind of like a slight glow in my blushes, so it's okay. Now for highlight, I'm using this Revolution Reloaded Time to Shine highlighter. Now, this highlighter took me by surprise. I just kind of slowly started building it up or just putting it on. And you guys will see, it's about to start shining like crazy. You can probably see your reflection in my, in my cheek right now. It's so bright. 
but you know it's popping it just lets me know that it is buildable you know you can use just a little bit and have a nice highlight or you can really shine to the heavens okay very very pretty highlighter and it has that nice kind of soft golden tone to it it's not icy so I really like that now for my lower lash line, I'm going in with this ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie Collab Pencil in the shade Time. Nice green shade. Thought I'd try something different with this eye look. And now I'm just going in with small pencil brushes and just kind of mimicking my lid on my lower lash line with the purple, the orange, and the yellow. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into the shade Glitzy. It's a really, really pretty, shimmery, kind of like light blue teal type shade. Very pretty. Now for my lips, I wanted to go nude today, so I just lined them with one of my NYX lip liners in the shade Urban Cafe. Went in with my Iman Matte Lipstick in the shade Fate and topped that off with some of my e.l.f. lip gloss. For lashes, I'm using some lashes from Lollipop Cosmetics. And for my mascara, I'm using my Milk Mascara that I pulled for my Shop My Stash. Set everything in place, I'm using my Cover Effects. This is a dewy setting mist. It feels really nice. The mister is very light and soft. So, this is the Shop My Stash face for today, you guys. <laughs> Did go ahead and check out that Root Cosmetics palette. It is bomb. I love it. I have no complaints other than some of the shades looking a little different. But I think it came out really nice. So hopefully you had a good time. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!